everybody welcome to the channel today we're gonna be taking a look well I'm kind of in the way in the spot but let me move out the way real quick Ford Explorer police interceptor Ooh, wow we so uh, major props to the technician in there for handing me the keys to it again it just came in off the truck it hasn't even been through the shop yet so anyways we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna take a look at it I don't know a whole lot about a police interceptor this is literally my first time ever doing a review of a police interceptor or even a police vehicle so this should be kind of exciting kind of fun all at the same time and you're getting a look to see what's going on in here so let's go ahead and get started all right, everybody, let's go ahead and start off right on the front end of this Ford Explorer police interceptor. Now, I will go ahead and tell you right off the get-go here, you may be thinking, just like I was thinking earlier, I was like, okay, this thing's got to be souped up under the hood. You know, Ford must have put a V8 in here, you know, because you're going to need a lot of power, you know, with a police interceptor vehicle, just depending on the situations and what's all going on. Well, just so you know, it's just a regular 3.7 liter engine out of a Ford Explorer. So that's the motor that's in here. But there's a lot of things that are a little bit different about it, because again, it is a police vehicle. So you can see a lot of strobe lights and just some different things like that and the interior is a little bit different as well but anyways on the front end here as you can see you got some LED lights there and there and that's really about it headlights look pretty good still got the LED kind of light bar going around there for your daytime running light the color is called shadow black so that's pretty cool, pretty cool name for a police interceptor, Shadow Black. Um, again, the wheels are also blacked out. You know, black is a sleek color, and, uh, you know, the cops can kind of hide in the bushes with this. You know, they can hide at nighttime around a corner, and you won't even see this car with everything all blacked out the way it is. Um, your alloy wheels are actually kind of small. I mean, they're not, sm I guess they're not small, but they look kind of small, don't they? Uh, they're 18 inch, which is a pretty decent size for a rim, um, but they're just regular black steel wheels again you don't need anything fancy on a police interceptor car um, these are 245 55 series tires and again with a uh, 18 inch wheel the tires are eagle goodyear eagle tires okay so pretty decent tire on there you know you, of course you got the matte finish going on on the bottom and the fender flares and all that you get another strobe light right here Okay, lots of strobe lights <laughs> it's a police car um, you got two big old bars right up top I mean, this is pretty much how it comes right from the manufacturer, wherever they build these at. I mean, I'm sure there's a few things that the technicians have to do to it in the shop in there, but that's really about it. Now, the uh, it does actually have a Moroni label right here. It's a little tough to see, but I'll tell you what I can see on here. Fuel economy on a police interceptor is 20 on the highway, 15 in the city, average combined of 17 miles per gallon. Of course, it's got decent safety ratings there. Can't see them, but you got a lot of stars going on, so that's a plus. 18-inch um, steel wheels. Uh, dual exhaust, all that, 3.7 liter V6, six-speed automatic transmission, all that kind of thing on there. Uh, the price on a police interceptor, if you want to know, though, total MSRP is 41740 So it's a 41000 almost $42,000 vehicle right here that we're looking at. Which is pretty expensive, really. I mean, when you go look at a uh, an XLT or a loaded up Explorer, they're kind of in that range right there. But again, you got a lot more. Uh, I don't know. It, to me, it's kind of a bare bones vehicle. It doesn't really have all. It's kind of gutted on the inside when you get in there. I mean, very basic. But again, forty one thousand dollars for this. So obviously, there's something in here that that makes the price jump up. It must be all those strobe lights, right? There's your tail lights. Um, you know, this is kind of neat on the top up here. You got built-in strobe lights right there. If you can see that, still got a third brake light, then another light over here. Backup sensors in the back. Backup camera right there. Let's go ahead and open this. Okay, well, it's being a little being a little weird with me, right? I will tell you another thing that kind of surprised me. Just a basic, basic key. Look, I mean, that's an, a remote that looks like it came off of a Ford Explorer back in 2001. And, uh, and just a regular old key. So, Mr. Police Officer does not get any kind of special flip key or smart key or anything like that. Um, now, when you unlock it, it's still not opening for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit this blue button on here. And now it's unlocked. As you can see in the back, no third row seat, okay? There's no third row at all. There's no need for a third row in this vehicle. And you might be wondering, you know, where is the gully in here, the area where they keep all the shotguns and missiles and, and grenades and, <laughs> you know, uh, tasers and 
things to hit you in the legs with or whatever. Well, there's not really. There's a spare tire though. And how about that? It's a nice black steel wheel just like on the exterior. But yeah, again, there's no area back here for shotguns and you know police gear other than that that'll be all kind of in the back back here i'm sure the police departments have stuff to put in the back of these things to hold all your equipment i would assume i don't know there is a youtube channel out there though that i enjoy watching i think it's like officer 501 or something like that or, or something something like that officer something <laughs> but anyways i really do like his channel i'm sorry i just botched his name of his channel but he's a really good guy i enjoy watching his stuff um more strobe lights in the windows here on both sides yeah, there's actually some cup holders in the back. How about that? But no third row seat. So I guess Ford just went ahead and threw cup holders in the far back anyways, right? No power tailgate. More lights here, though, which is kind of interesting because if you're on the side of the interstate or wherever and you're getting stuff out the back, at least you got lights up here to uh, keep blinking because those won't be seen as much, you know, when the tops opened up like that on the tailgate. Now let's get to the uh, nitty gritty here. We will pop the hood and cranker and rever and let you hear all that, but let's go ahead and take a look at the interior of this. Door panel looks pretty, pretty similar to most of your Ford Explorers. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Bottle holder, you know, cubby hole space. A little bit of a power seat, okay? So it is a power seat, but just black cloth and kind of a tough, it's kind of tough black cloth. It's not a, not very, it doesn't really feel very comfortable. That's for sure. Sure. It's kind of a tough seat. Maybe there's some Kevlar in there in case, you know, something starts flying, bullets start flying, right? Um, steering wheel, no leather wrapped on there, just a regular rubber steering wheel. Let's go ahead and hop in and get that chime and sound to stop. I hear you. Well, let's go ahead and crank her up. Why not, right? Let's put this old key in here and there we go. Well, I guess you're not going to be quiet, are you? I'll close the door then. <laughs> All right, this will probably be the only time in my life I'll ever get to sit in a uh, driver's seat of a police interceptor vehicle. Okay? Unless I'm somehow sitting in the back, which I don't think anybody's going to be locked up back there because there's no wall here or anything like that. Um, steering wheel, just so you know, I mean, take a look at it, right? You got cruise control, you got your multi-information display screen buttons, do all that over there. You got that LCD screen right through the middle with your speedometer and tachometer. Um, over here, volume for the radio system, uh, Bluetooth cell phone system. If you wonder what the horn sounds like. That's your horn on a police interceptor. Um, yes, the police officer does get sunglass holder up top. Also get some lighting right here. This is not a sunroof button. I know it's a little tough to see, but that's a button to lock and unlock the rear hatch. There is no lighting in here for him or her to do their makeup. Okay, so you have to use that. And it's the same on, on the passenger side over here, which I don't imagine a whole lot of makeup going on while you're sitting inside of a police interceptor. You do have oh crap handles above every, well, no, just this side. You don't have one over here, so you got an oh crap handle just on passenger side, and that's it. Um, as far as everything else goes, pretty simple, just a regular old radio. You do got a line in, the auxiliary, a USB. Um, they do give these guys and girls two 12 volts. Other than that, this is going to be where the screen comes up and and all that information so they can plug away and see what's going on on your driver's license or see if you're a felon or or see if you're a terrorist but um that's you know all that because they're gonna have a lot of gadgets going on inside this vehicle here glove box big simple gets the job done there's your seat on the passenger side let's go take a look in the back seats and see what's going on back there pretty solid right Windows are already pretty much blacked out. Nice dark tint. That door opens up nice and wide, so if you're a big guy or big girl and need to get in the back here with some handcuffs, you can slide right in with no problem at all. <laughs> but I don't think the door opens up any more than a regular Explorer does. Um, in the back, you do got window controls, okay? There's your back seat. There's no headrest back here, okay? Just so you know, no headrest in the back. No little cubby hole or no little areas to throw maps. 
I mean, really, it's pretty simple for the most part in the back here. This is bare bones, basic, basic, basic. Okay, back seat does fold down right there. Pretty solid right there as well. Man, it's got some weight to it, don't it, boy? Solid back seats. Um, up on the roof, you got that big old light up there, right? That's kind of interesting looking. Let's see if it'll cut on. Isn't that kind of cool looking, right? Look at that. And it lights up. What in the world? You can do two different colors. That color and that color for at night. I mean, what's up? If a police officer is watching the video right now, why do they have a red, reddish, pinkish color light up here that switches between two colors? I get it maybe a little bit, but maybe that's to kind of keep it still a little dark on the inside with a little bit ambient lighting going on. Other than that, um, you do have coat hangers up here on both sides, so you got that going on. I was about to leave the store a minute ago and I saw this over here and I said, alright, it's time to take a look at the police interceptor. I thought this would be a good video, get some views, right? Everybody be watching this probably, because again, not everybody does reviews on these kind of things. Alright, let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what's going on under there. So there's your 3.7 liter V6. Looks pretty stock for the most part. Big old battery. No shocks or anything, just a nice little pole. Hold that right on up, okay? All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed that video of the 2017 Explorer Police Interceptor. Well, I, I was about to say, if you're in the market to buy one, come on down and see us at Ravenel Ford. No, you won't be able to do that. But if your local police station wants to order from us here at Ravenel Ford, come on down and see us, Mr. Police Officer Station. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. If we ever get one in again, I will definitely come out here and do a review on it. Other than that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Charleston Car Videos is one of the largest YouTube channels today on YouTube that has vehicles for sale. I'm talking, I have over 3,000 vehicle videos on this channel. I do car reviews, I do car vlogs, I do a little bit of everything. So again, if you could hit the like button on this video, thank you for that. And again, check out the channel and subscribe. I upload videos every single day of the week. This is what I do full time is car videos. So thanks again. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. I'm Chad signing out.